Today I'm going to show you how to make a little pop-up Easter basket, all right? And we can put the rabbit on the inside, or if you prefer, it can be just a basket or eggs or whatever else you'd like to have inside there, all right? But I'm going to show you how to do the rabbit and also how to just take that right off. That's what you want to do, all right? So today you're going to need a sheet of paper. You're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need a pencil to start with and then some colors for your decorating. All right, so let me clear this off. We're going to start with our sheet of paper. And the first thing you're going to do is fold it side to side in half like you're folding a book. So it'll be short and fat. Some people call this hamburger style. All right, I'm going to hold the middle, come straight to the middle, and then go up and down. I'm then going to open up my paper flatten it out. And now I'm going to take it from the top edge down to the bottom. So I'm coming straight down that crease line in the middle, straight down, holding it nice and tight, coming up to the middle and going across. And some people call this the hot dog style, long and skinny. All right. I am now going to be turning my paper long ways going up. And you can see there's a crease line in the middle. All right. I am not going, there it is. I am not going to be using the top portion of this paper. I'm not even going to get close to that crease line. I'm only going to be using the bottom portion of this paper. So let me scoop my paper on up so you can see really good this bottom section. And we're going to start by drawing in the bottom of the basket. And the bottom of the basket is going to come off of the folded edge, not the open side. And I'm going to come in about halfway to the middle. I don't want to get to the middle line. All right, I can go close to it, but I don't want to be right in the middle. And then I'm going to repeat at the bottom, and you can make the bottom of your basket however wide you want to do that. But again, I want them side by side across, and then I'm going to come down. And this is going to be my basket part, and we don't need to worry about decorating just yet. Now I'm going to come in from the top. I'm going to come in just a little bit, and I'm going to be making a handle. And my handle is going to come up and over like a curvature. Just do not get close to that crease line that's up there. So there's my crease line. Notice that I'm kind of way away from it. All right, don't get close to it. The next thing you want to do is put the inside of the handle. Now we're going to be cutting this out so you don't want this to be too skinny. So fatten it up just a little bit as you make the inside curvature of the handle. So we have the bottom of the basket and now we have the, the um, handle. And now this is all you would need if you simply want to make your basket without the bunny in it, all right? But if you want an animal of some time popping up from this inside, we need to add that next, all right? So that's what I'm going to do now over here on this folded edge, and I'm only going to have to draw half of my rabbit. So I'm going to start with the top of the little rabbit's head, and then I'm going to draw out his big ear, and then the side of his face, and then I'm going to come down his shoulder, all right? And that's all I'm going to do right now. Um, I'm going to show you how to cut this out, and then I'll save the decorating for last. All right, so I'm going to be cutting the outside of the handle down to where it connects to the basket. And then this little indention, I'm going to cut over to that too. I'm also going to be cutting the bottom of the basket, but I am not cutting where the basket attaches to the paper. I want to leave that together right there. I'm also going to be cutting the inside handle, all right? And then I'm going to come backwards and get this part of the top of the basket. Notice I left my handle attached. I'm going to be coming around the back side or the outside of my rabbit, up and around and back over. But I want to leave that rabbit attached. That means I'm going to be cutting away all of this stuff on the inside here, all right? So this is what it's going to look like when I start to cut that out. I take my scissors and I'm going to cut to the end of the line and stop. So I just stopped it right there. Then I'm going to take my paper. I'm going to turn it so I can cut a little bit easier. And I'm going to curve it around. Now notice when I'm cutting, I'm always turning the paper to my scissors. I am not turning my scissors upside down. I turn the paper around. And then I want to cut to that little edge and stop. So again, I've got that little tiny little piece cut out, all right? Now I'm going to be cutting the inside around the rabbit area. And again, I start coming down to the basket, that curvature for the handle. And again, watch me turn my whole paper around so that I can get to this inside piece and get quite down far enough. 
there we go coming over to the rabbit and now i'm going to come back and i'm going to do the top part of the rabbit and again i turn my paper i don't turn my hand and my scissors every which way all right i'm going to cut around the top of my head and up to the ear and i can let that piece go right off the edge of the paper that's okay flip it back around and do the other side of the ear and the side of the head and the shoulder going down to the basket and this piece gets cut right away and there i have it i have my basket and my little rabbit sticking out and you can see how i've just cut it's still attached now, where it's still attached, this line right here, I'm going to bend it over. And this is why you don't want to go more than halfway, because you don't want it coming out the other side. So I'm bending it over on itself, and I'm going to crease this down good and tight. After I got it tight, I'm going to open it, flip it over to the other side, and fold it backwards. So I like to rub my finger down that folded edge and fold it backwards down in half. All right. Now, this is nice and loose. Right, so now it's putting it together before I start decorating. And here on this crease line, I'm gonna be opening it straight across from each other. And they're kind of stuck together, so let me slowly open it. All right, and I'm gonna open it kind of like a tent. All right, these two side edges. Now notice there's a top piece and then the bottom piece that has my basket. I'm gonna be taking this top piece and folding it over, bending it over, bending it over on this crease line. So it's over on the back side. And again, it's nice and fat, kind of like a tent, all right? Once I have it bent over, I'm kind of folding the corners. You can see I've got my basket on one side and I folded the top backwards. I'm gonna press right above the handle in, and then I'm gonna come in right below the basket and press in. And if I'm lucky, this will pop up. If not, I just need to pull it up as I press that down. And look, you can start to see how that automatically starts to show up. Now, I'm not holding this really flat. I am holding it sort of dented in, all right? This is coming up. we we'll pull on it a little bit more, and I'm slowly going to start closing. And then I'm going to take my fingers and rub it all together. And that's going to make my little basket sticking up there. Now, I am going to flatten it for right now as I start my decorating, and you can decorate your basket however you would like, all right? I'm going to put some wavy lines on my basket coming across here, and just a pattern of wavy lines. I like this for a frozen, uh, woven kind of look. Um, it's just sort of a pattern that I started drawing a long, long time ago. So I put a wavy look first all the way across, all the way up and down. And then I'm going to come back with straight lines, straight lines coming down. And I just think that that gives a nice wavy look, woven look to the basket. And notice I'm coming all the way across even where I haven't drawn. And this whole thing then, I can straighten it up. This is going to be my basket. And then I can finish up my handle that started over on this side. I can bring it back over on the other. And do the same thing at the bottom, and I'm going to put little lines on it. And you can decorate your handle however you would like, and you can use as many colors as you would like. That's really, really up to you. All right, so now as I've been coloring, it's kind of flattened everything back in. Look, it doesn't want to work the right way anymore. So if I put my thumb up underneath my basket and pull up on it as I'm closing, look, all of a sudden he's starting to pop out again. All right. All right, let me lay them back down and keep drawing. So I'm going to put some little eyes on my rabbit and give him a little nose, maybe a few whiskers, and a little mouth coming out. All right, and there's my little rabbit. All right, maybe you want to put a little belly on him. You can decide however you want to decorate him. And maybe some little pink on the inside of his ear. And again, I'm just kind of playing around with mine. Now, on this one, notice that my little rabbit, as I'm doing him, notice the back side has eggs. To do my eggs on the back side, I kind of pulled my rabbit down a little bit, just kind of gently, and then I drew where the eggs should be. So I'm just filling up a bunch of eggs into my basket. And now look what I can do, all right, because it's hard to decorate that way. If I pick the whole thing up, there's my eggs. 
And now I can go in and I can decorate the eggs solid colors if you want. Or if you prefer, you can do half and half. Or you could put on some kind of pattern. It really wouldn't matter. You can make more eggs if you think that's not enough. All right. And you just go in and you fill them in. And then when you lay that back down across, you're going to be able to see those eggs back behind there. All right. Easy way to get to those eggs. And again, if everything is laying down flat and it doesn't want to close for you, just remember to lift up a little bit as you start to push it back together and then smush it down again nice and tight and you're good to go again, all right? Okay, have fun creating your pop-up basket. If you chose not to do the rabbit, you're going to have a basket that looks more like this one. I'm gonna hide mine on the inside, all right? And it would just come straight across and you would have whatever you want inside your basket there.